And I recognize that the privilege is not mine, but I've been this asked by the White public, House to, uh, Congressman, I'd be happy to answer your question, or you can just have a conversation by yourself. But if you'd like to ask me a question, no, I'll be happy I'm to answer. I'm going to continue. The reason is well, because then don't ask me a question if I'm you don't want to hear my answer. My time. This is a House Judiciary, not a House Party. So if Session you ask me a question, give me the opportunity campaign, to answer your the question. The campaign the special counsel is investigating, I'd like my time restored, please, of his interruption. He called you in to do his dirty work in secret time, because he knew time, it was wrong. Time, well, we will expose the truth. Time, the president time, can hide time, behind you any longer. Uh, time and you should be here to be telling the truth, the General Lady 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 because the, the truth gen- will set you free the and the Lady, American people. I yield time, back. The time of the General Lady has expired. The witness may answer the question. I don't believe there was a question, Congressman. Very well. Yes, there was. Could you repeat the question? I didn't hear it. I'd be happy to repeat the it's question. Just a rant. Yeah, repeat the question. I'll be happy to repeat the question. The gentlelady's time has expired. Uh, the gentleman from... Did you know the Attorney General the gen- the gen- recused? The gen- I'll begin by recognizing myself for five minutes. Ms. Lewandowski, is it correct that as reported in the Mueller report on June 19, 2017, you met alone in the Oval Office with the President? I said... Is, is, it- is there a book and page number you can reference me to, please? I don't have a copy of the report in front of me. Volume 2, page 90. But I, I simply ask you, is it correct that as reported in the Mueller report on June 19th, 2017, you met alone in the Oval Office with the President? Could you read the exact language of the report, sir? I don't have it available to me. I don't think I need to do that, and I have limited time. Did you meet alone with the President on that date? Congressman, I'd like you to refresh my memory by providing a copy of the report so I can follow page, along. Hey, you don't have a copy with you? I don't have a copy of the report, Congressman. Mr. Stop. Chairman, I request uh, that the clock be stopped while this uh, charade is sorted out. I'm sorry, Congressman, what page was it? The clock should have been stopped and should remain stopped. Page, not, page 90, volume 2. Okay, and which paragraph, sir? I don't have it in front of me. I'd like a reference, sir, so I can follow along on what you're asking. Do you not have an independent recollection of whether you met with the president on that date? Congressman, I'm just trying to find in the Mueller report where it states that. Well, you have it in front of you. I gave you the, pres- the, the page number. Okay, what, where on page 90 is it, sir? Mr. Chairman, you've got to start the clock. Ms. No, I don't have to start the clock when he's filibustering. Bottom of page 90. Well, filibustering is a different Bottom issue. Of That's page across n- the hall in the Bottom Senate. Of pa- this is actual questions being done now. Mr. Chairman, point of parliamentary inquiry, 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 Mr. Chairman. That's not The gentleman will state his point of parliamentary inquiry. Mr. Chairman, is it appropriate for a witness to refuse to answer a question and instead demand that we reference and point him to the... I'd ask that that Mueller report be closed and the witness be directed to answer the question. No, well, the answer is not appropriate, but it's on the bottom two lines of that page. Point of point of order. Uh, when will the clock start, Mr. Chairman? Once the questions asked, Mr. Chairman, the clock should start. Right under overview, second line. Parliamentary Answer inquiry, overview. Mr. Chairman. The gentleman. The witness, point of order. The witness has the time and one. Point of order is a, a question. The witness point of order will overrides the that. A point of order overrides that, Mr. Chairman, and you know that. The gentleman will state his point of order. Point of order is once the question has been asked in reference properly to the witness, to answer the question, the clock should start. It cannot be held while you and your counsel go over notes. The gentleman is correct. The, gentleman is correct. the, ge- the clock will start. And the, que- and the witness will answer the question without further delay. Yes, I see that in the report. Thank you. Did he ever discuss with you any concerns that he may have committed a criminal offense? The White House has directed not to disclose the substance of any okay. discussions with the president or his advisors to protect so you, so executive branch confidentiality. Right, I recognize this Mr. is Chairman, not my privilege. So Mr. So Chairman, I make a point of order. Pursuant to Clause 2J2A of Rule 11, that the gentleman is out of order, he has exceeded the time limit under the five-minute rule. I will enforce the time, the time limit under the five-minute rule. I challenge the ruling I am of the very, chair. I challenge the ruling of the chair. The, chair the, cha- the ruling of the chair is challenged. All those in favor of overriding the rule of the chair will say aye. Opposed, no. 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 Roll call. Those have it. Roll call is asked. The clerk will call. Where's the clerk? Well, we can make this a lot easier, Jim. We can. I mean, this the clerk be- will call the roll. Yes. Mr. Nadler. Question is, will, he, will the ruling? Of the, the question is, will the ruling of the chair be overruled? My vote is no. Mr. Nadler votes no. Ms. Lofgren. Ms. Jackson Lee. Ms. Jackson Lee votes no. 
Mr. Mr. Chairman, there are 13 ayes and 19 noes. Mr. Chairman? Yeah, Mr. Chairman. Thanks. Point of order. Mr. Chairman, since the chairman is refused... The gentleman is not recognized. I will be. The, the, uh, the point of order is sustained. Mr. Chairman? I am very troubled that the White House counsel sitting behind you are preventing you from answering these very basic questions that go to the heart of the president's conduct we are investigating. Mr. Chairman, I have a motion. Not o Mr. Not Chairman, only I have a motion. You will wait for your motion until I finish this. Point of order, then. Not not only one of order has got a, to be recognized. Not in the middle. Of yes, it does. No. The motion is to, since the chairman is not following the House rules, I move to adjourn. Motion is to adjourn. The motion Point to, of parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Chairman. Motion to adjourn. Point of parliamentary inquiry. If the Republicans on this committee are successful in this motion to adjourn, does that mean there will be no hearing and the American people will not hear from Mr. Lewandowski about his efforts to obstruct justice? Yes, that's exactly what it okay. means. That's what I want. It also could read, they could read the three times the previous already done it. I have a point of parliamentary inquiry. The motion is not debatable. As many as are in favor of the motion to adjourn. I have a motion of parliamentary as inquiry. As many are in favor. So Mr. Cicilline gets recognized for his inquiry, but I don't get recognized for The motion is not debatable. As many as are in favor of the motion to adjourn say aye. 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 Opposed, no. No. In the opinion of the chair, the noes have it. Roll call. We will, roll, call. roll call is requested. The question is on the motion to adjourn. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Nadler? No. Mr. Nadler votes no. Ms. Lofgren? Ms. Jackson Lee? Ms. Jackson Lee votes no. Mr. Cohen? <laughs> Mr. Chairman, there are 12 ayes and 19 noes. The motion to adjourn is not adopted. Georgia, for his opening, for his questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this past few minutes was totally avoidable and also very frustrating in the sense that it is also now raised from our perspective the question of the privileges of the rules of the House, could, which could be discussed on the floor and probably will be, and possibly just the blatant running over of House rules. Um, my concern is ethics uh, violations as well. This has got to be run in a different way. It's okay to try and get your stuff out. It's okay to be frustrated, but it's also not okay to overrun House rules. The five-minute rule is a House rule. It's not a committee rule, and it's not for up for interpretation by the chairman, whatever he feels like. It wouldn't be if I was the chairman or you're the chairman. That's not debatable. And you may not have got your last question in, but we've already discussed, and we're going to have a lot more discussion here in a little while on staff questioning, but there's, there's plenty of time to get that last little question that you didn't get asked to somebody else. But is it worth breaking the House rules? And I know some in the audience don't care, and some of the majority don't care. But at the end of the day, you're accusing a president of very high issues that we got to look at. You're accusing him and dragging it through in this committee for eight months we're doing this. So I think following procedures is something that you actually have to look at because your idea is not really... Point of order, Mr. Yield Chairman, back. the time has expired. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Lewandowski, you are about like a fish being cleaned with a spoon. It's very hard to get an answer out of you. You felt kind of squeamish like a like that fish that you are trying to be right now, being scaled, you felt a little squeamish about delivering that message, correct? No, sir. Well, why didn't you, uh, why did it take you so long and you never even delivered it? Correct, I never delivered the message. Yeah, you chickened out. I went on vacation. You went on vacation. <laughs> and so you put, the, you put the message in the safe, in your safe, in your home for safekeeping, Correct? Before you went on vacation. I took my kids to the beach, Congressman. That's more and, of a priority. And, and President Trump was hounding you about when are you going to deliver that message. Correct? Completely inaccurate, Congressman. Well, he asked you about it a, a few times, didn't he? No, he did not. Have you ever put any words that the, res the president asked you to write down before in a safe? Or was this the first time you'd done that? Uh, I believe it's my standard operating procedure when taking notes, Congressman. So every note that you take of the president, you put in a safe? How big is that I safe? Don't, I don't, it's a big safe, Congress. There's a lot of guns in there. On January 2019, on the Chris Matthews Show, a member of this committee was asked, do you believe the president right now has been an agent of the Russians? That was me. That member said, yes. Chris, Ma Chris Matthews followed up and said, an agent, like in the 1940s, working for a foreign power? That individual responded, he's working on behalf of the Russians, yes. Still believe that. And... You know, Mr. Chairman, are we, are we, the, gen the gentleman from, 
Arizona's got the time. If Arizona has the time. I'd like my. T I'd like. I'd like ten seconds added back on. He's, He's got ten interrupt. seconds in any event. Do you believe that Vladimir Putin is sitting in his office right now in the Kremlin, laughing at what those on the other side of the aisle are doing, and believing that those on the other side of the aisle are useful idiots, helping? Objection. I have a, I have a point of order. And the lady will state her point of order. Um, I have a point of order. According to the rules, uh, and the rules of this committee and the House rules, um, we cannot attribute uh, derogatory names to our colleagues or motives to our colleagues. And I believe the gentleman said those on the other side of the aisle are idiots. Uh, this is a very sacred and somber responsibility. I've taken an oath of office, my good friend, just like you did. I am concerned about the Constitution just as you are, and I would not engage uh, in any behavior that could be described as idiot. Never in my life or my colleagues have we ever discussed behaving like idiots. I mean, actually, I didn't call anybody an idiot. I, I said useful idiot. Useful idiot. <laughs> and, and secondly, I uh, asked the witness whether he believed that as part of Vladimir Putin's strategy, he, uh, Vladimir Putin, was being aided by useful idiots in, in America. We as a nation would be better served if elected officials like yourself concentrated your efforts to combat the true crises facing our country, as opposed to going down rabbit holes like this hearing. Instead of focusing on petty and personal politics, the committee focused on solving the challenges of this generation. Imagine how many people we could help, or how many lives we could save.